Hey, sorry about that opening montage. I was just a little bit excited about these empty caulking tubes that I found. I was trying to find a way to cram a whole bunch of epoxy in some little cracks and crevices and stuff like that. I remember back when I used to do home remodeling that, you know, a caulk gun could really, you could squeeze a whole lot of caulk in a little tiny spot, you know, in a crack or a crevice. I didn't even know that they made empty ones. They come with a little nipple on the end there. And uh, I think that, yeah, the caps come separately in the box. You cut the tip to whatever size you want, and you could really put it up against the crack. And let's say you've got a crack that's only that wide, but you've got a gap behind that crack that's as wide as a two by four that needs epoxy squoze in there. This is the perfect tool for that. I got these on Amazon. I don't remember what they cost, but it was like, I think they were like 12 bucks for a box of 20 or something like that. Pretty good price. The convenience and the uh, capability that it offers you is definitely worth the money. We're gonna do a, a few fillets in between some of these gaps. We're gonna go all the way down the keel and make fillets to the frame so that's a much stronger bond. So I've installed some basic blocking. All we need is a purchase spot to screw this front piece of plywood into. So here we've got to cut a piece of plywood and it's rather complex. It's got a whole bunch of cuts and we just want it to be one piece. The easiest way I know to accomplish this without taking a whole bunch of ridiculous measurements is to take some scrap cardboard and cut yourself a template. You just put one big piece in the middle and then take a bunch of smaller scraps and cut them to the various sizes that you need, tape them to the main piece of cardboard, and then trace out that design directly to the piece of plywood that you're going to cut. It's a very simple procedure, and it's a good way to save time, and it kind of makes you look like a better carpenter than you actually are. My very creative 11 year old daughter found a pair of tin snips and some aluminum cans. She has a message for you. Anyway, I'm going to uh, put the uh, lid, the top on this front compartment. I'm going to laminate three sheets of uh, quarter inch plywood with fiberglass in between the layers. It's going to give me a strong top, but the important thing is those quarter inch pieces of plywood will flex into those contours. A whole lot easier than a single piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood. Oh. Well. <clears throat> well, the jigsaw finally ate it. It won't work. Well, that's done. Thanks, Rigid. Oh, just what I needed. Nice piece of crap jigsaw. It's all right, I should have replaced it by now, but it was still halfway working. So as you can see, I have, I've cut out the, or I've traced the outline of the bow of the boat onto this piece of ply. And I guess now I'm gonna cut it out with a circular saw. I don't know, don't ask me. That's yeah, not too shabby. I forget whether you call this a knee or a gusset or whatever. But well, we're gonna put a tapered piece all the way out to the second, from the second frame to the transom. It's gonna to go to the thickness of the gunnel here, or the width of the gunnel here, and it's gonna go out to its natural edge and square off right here at the transom.
This, this is what I gotta put up with working in this shop right here. Oil the fucking wheel. Oil it. It's gonna be beautiful. I just poured the rest of that epoxy here in the middle so that we get a good step. Sticking good. Good and stick. Using the thicker chopped strand mat for this layer. So I really want a good sandwich. And it holds a lot of epoxy and when we mush these boards together, I'm sure it's gonna be filled out. It's the way to go. Here's a tip. If you're gonna make a mistake cutting something, err on the side of it being too big. That way you can slowly trim it to fit. So to replicate this curve, I'm just going to kind of tee off of it and mark it every six inches because I want a six inch gunnel. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not perfect. <clears throat> pretty dang on tight though. Let's smear it. Whew. Yeah, gap opened up a little bit once we bent this wood down in there, but that is not particularly important to me right now. I'm using glue for this next part just to show you it's as good as the epoxy is. Maybe not as good, but good enough to build a good boat. Cool air and high humidity is making the filler that I'm using on this boat take forever to dry. So here's where we're at. Yeah, we're getting there. Sub to the channel, watch the rest of the build, and we'll see y'all next time.